Hello, um, this is uh, Mr. Dyer again. This is our syllabus for our class, and the first thing I'd like you to do is go ahead and fill in your name, date, and period. You're going to hear that a lot, especially when we turn things in. This is our Welcome to Biology. This is the 2012-2013 syllabus for regular biology. Um, my name is on there. Um, you can call me Mr. Dyer or Mr. D, um, but my name is Mike Dyer. Email address is there, phone number is there, room number is there. Biology is a study of life. Students will learn and investigate the workings of the smallest critters, they are usually the simplest ones, to the largest critters, usually the most complex, and then how they interact with each other. Biology-related topics are found more and more in news today. Uh, cloning, stem cell research, cancer, pollution, just a few of the biology-related topics um, that can impact everyday life of everyone on the planet. Um, lasting, lastly, students will become scientists by conducting numerous independent experiments. Okay, this is our um, this is our syllabus. These are the things we're going to cover probably more or less in the order we're going to cover it. Um, you can see that we do have 11 units. We're going to start off with scientific investigation and characteristics of life. Um, ending up the first semester with a cell cycle mitosis, DNA structure replication. And then we're going to open up the second semester with DNA protein synthesis along with all those other goodies. And then we're going to end up with uh, unit 11 which is the ecology way back in or way up in May, um, right before the SOL. Textbooks, um, if you take a look at the textbook, um, the textbook um, is, I'm going to call it the Dragonfly book, but it's Miller Levine's biology book. Students are expected to read and dissect chapters. I'll explain dissection soon um, for every topic that we cover in class. Um, if, there's an, if there are enough, um, we will be assigning books. We will be assigned books. Numbers will be recorded, and they will be about 60 bucks a piece if you damage the book or you lose the book. So please don't do that. Supplies. Following supplies will be required. I'd like to get a three-ring notebook, and then I'd like to get loose-leaf paper. College rule is probably best. If you want to get dividers, um, get 12 dividers for the introduction plus the 11 units. Um, earbuds or headphones, I'd like you to have them. I'd like you to have them here in school um, on every given day or I'd also have access to them at home. Composition book, um, this is a self-contained, and I'll show you an example of it, self-contained notebook type thing um, which we'll use for lab reports. Graph paper, um, five square per inch if you can get it. Um, that allows you to use the ruler to count boxes really easily, plus get lots of data um, on the de on the graph, but it's also available on Fusion, and I'll show you where to find that. Um, pens, uh, various colors would be advisable: um, blue, black, red, green. Um, pencils as well. Um, highlighters, if you like highlighters. Um, colored pencils and markers. I will tell you, I will have colored pencils and markers in class, and I'd like you to get a 12-inch ruler. There are additional items um, that will be required, and I'll give you plenty of notice to get those. Um, any item that will become a, may become a distraction um, from learning, um, I will confiscate it, and I'll give it to your alpha administrator. Tenants and tardies, vital part of learning is coming to class regularly and on time. Uh, Forest Park High School attendance policy um, will be in, enforced and students will be contacted if necessary. Students must be in their seat. Um, this is what other teachers are saying. I'm going to probably cross this one out because I'm going to be standing out in the hallway and all you do is have to be inside this door frame. And I don't mean partially inside, I mean totally inside the door frame when the tardy bell rings. Otherwise you'll get your first tardy. Prince William County um, grading scale will be used. Um, it's right here. It's a 10-point scale with three points actually segre segregating the upper part of each level. So B's go from 80 to 89, but the top three, 87, 88, 89, are the B+, plus. same thing for C+, plus. same thing for D+. Plus. Try to stay on this side of the grading scale. This side uh, is not as helpful. Make sure you keep participation grade. I'm going to give you guys 100 points at the beginning of each quarter. Um, that information will be on the back of your note to parents. I'll explain it to you in another video. Um, it's located in the course information back to school night folder. Um, so if you need an additional copy or to take a look at it, um, they're in that, it's in that folder. 
Um, quarter grades. Quarter grades will be guided by the following. Individual grades will be weighted, but the following percentages will be used to um, as a guide. Um, I'm going to be giving you basically a class grade in here is 45 to 50 points. A test could be two or three um, times that. A lab may be three, four, five times that. And a test may be um, about the same. But basically you'll see them as points. I'll be writing like, uh, you know, 43 out of 45 or 29 out of 50 on your paper. Um, tests will be 40% of your grade. Labs and projects another 30. There's 70% of your grade. Your last 30% quizzes for 20 and homework classwork will be only 10 percent of your grade because this is supposed to be working so that you can understand how to do well on the other projects and the test of course is the most important midterm counts as 20 percent of your first semester grade first quarter and second quarter grades are the other 40 percent so you get 80 percent for the quarters and 20 percent for the exam same thing with the second semester 20 percent for the exam 80 percent for the quarters Midterm and, um, and final exam will consist of all kinds of questions, multiple choice, written um, work, true and false, and it will be held in uh, January, usually uh, toward the end of, the, of January. Um, then the SOL incentive. Um, we will be taking an SOL in May. Students who pass the biology SOL proficient um, can be exempt from the final exam if you wish. You can also take it if you or your parents wish. Students who pass the SOL advanced receives a 100% for the final exam. Best possible scenario. Get that 100%. Overall grade, second semester grades will be averaged using um, the two semester grades will be averaged together to make your final course grade. So you want to get a good uh, first semester and a very f good second semester grade to make sure that this final course grade is good. Binder and lab book. Notes and assignments will be maintained in your three ring binder. Students are expected to keep the material given throughout the year so you can study them for your exams, uh, study them for your quizzes, study them for your tests, study them for the SOL. Um, organization is a key element to uh, success in almost anything, especially school. Composition book. Um, that will be used as your lab book. All lab data, full lab reports, um, the write-ups will be written and I'll explain all that stuff as we do our first lab which will be uh, either later this week or next week early. Assessments and labs, quizzes and tests. Knowledge for each unit will be assessed using a variety of different ways. Um, you may be required to just uh, um, recall information. Um, you may have to actually Associate that information with uh, data and other things we've used in class. Um, expect quizzes and tests to be presented in different formats. Um, quizzes and tests will be based on information given um, either through the online videos, um, the notes that you take from those videos, the notes you take from class, um, class lecture and discussion as we review the information or talk about things I, that I won't have a video for. Um, labs and other assignments, um, they may be included te textbook if I do assign that work as well. Labs will focus on the student's ability to analyze data, to look at that data and draw a conclusion, and then link the results to other concepts that we learn in class. Tests, um, tests will be given at the end of each of the 11 units. Um, there usually are two to three tests per quarter. Each test will be broken down into the objectives um, that we'll be covering in class. Students grade will reflect their score on these individual, uh, individual objectives. In an effort to encourage students are always learning and learning to do better, you will have an opportunity to retest any of the objectives. Um, after they've been, after the results are there, um, you have to be remediated by me or another biology teacher. In other words, you have to show me that you're going to put forth the effort to justify um, another test. Um, then um, you make sure that you've completed all the assignments that go in, all the classwork, the homework, um, the notes for the videos, um, everything we've done to prepare you for this test. And then all retests must be completed by the end, last week of the quarter. Missed and late work. When students are absent. Um, you've got the responsibility of finding out what the work was and you can find that up on Fusion and that's regardless of whether it's notes, um, whether it's videos, whether it's assignments, whether it's labs, whether it's quizzes. It'll all be listed up on School Fusion. You can ask somebody else in the class or you can see me. Missed quizzes and tests um, can be made up uh, after school, not during school. Uh, for the most part. There may be some days if you're way ahead um, that I'll let you go ahead on the next unit. I'll let you work on the quiz 
um, in class. Missed work. Any assignment that's um, due the day you are absent, you have to give it to me the next day. Let's say you're absent on Monday. The assignment was due on Monday. I see you on Wednesday. You need to give me that assignment that day. That means it's on time. For labs, classwork, homework given on the day um, of absence, students uh, must make arrangements for makeups, and you have to do that within two calendar days. So if you missed Monday, Wednesday, you have to say, okay, I know we missed this lab. I want to come in and make it up and give me an idea when you want to make it up. For quizzes and tests, given on the day it's absent, students have, again, two days from the day, you're abs um, the day you return to schedule this, um, and you have to try to make this up one week uh, after the absence to stay current. Makeup quizzes and tests may be alternate form um, from the original test or quiz, and then failure to make those up in a given time frame um, will result as a zero. And zeros are bad, bad, bad. Late work. Homework and class work will be accepted late for half credit until the day of the unit test. If you do not give it to me when it's due, um, you're telling me I want to get half credit. Projects and labs will be accepted late for a penalty of 5% for each day. So if you don't give it to me at the beginning of class, you lost 5% because I'm essentially getting it tomorrow. Even if I get it 5 minutes later, it's a 5% deduction. And that works for 10 calendar days. 50% uh, per. So if you had to give it to me on Monday, you give it to me on Tuesday, um, you've lost 5%. If you give it to me the following Monday, that's seven days late. That's 35% deduction. Um, you don't get any credit for Saturday and Sunday because I should have gotten it each day is 5%. Last day to turn in a lab, pro or, a lab or a project um, is the last week um, of the quarter. So get it to me before that last week. School Fusion. This is our School Fusion site. Um, School Fusion is a direct link to the classroom. It is a requirement for you to check School Fusion regularly, especially if you are absent or if we have a snow day. Um, either way, I lose an opportunity to teach. You learn an opportunity. You lose an opportunity to learn, and I want you to stay um, learned. School Fusion is updated regularly, and reminders um, on assignments. Um, announcements, study tips, extra credit, and more um, will be located on School Fusion. Um, check the homework folder, um, excuse me, the homework calendar, check the course information and the course document folder for information. Parent Portal. Um, parents and students are encouraged to check Parent Portal regularly. This does not mean in class. Um, you can lose 10 participation points if you um, check email, um, check Parent Portal, um, check your grades. Don't do it in class. This is for outside class. If you want to talk about your grade, come see me. Grades will be updated weekly, I hope. Class webcam. Our class will have a webcam. It will run during regular school hours, so I'll turn it on at the beginning of the day and I'll turn it off at the end of the day. It's for basically students who aren't in class or anybody who's unable to make it to class. Um, make sure if you make sure if you aren't in class, you use this. Okay. I would like your parents to initial this box saying that they understand that we do have a webcam. I'd like you to go ahead and do that. Same with these two up here for School Fusion and Parent Portal. Um, could you have them sign that one and you sign this one? Flipping the classroom. I'm going to try a new system this year. Um, I tried it toward the end of the year last year, and I think it worked out pretty well. But we're going to flip the class. And basically, what this means is you are going to be um, watching videos at home the day before class and trying to learn some information from other teachers or myself, depending on who posts the video. Um, and then you're going to come in at home, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a quick review of what you were supposed to learn, and then we're going to be doing homework and classwork in class, and I'm probably going to be collecting it that day, but everybody in that class should be able to get this assignment 75% um, or more done um, so that they actually don't have to worry about as much work at, at, at home. And what this guarantees is if you've got questions on homework, um, you've got a teacher, my, myself, right in front of you, as well as other kids in class, um, so you can actually get some peer help in there as well. I'd like your parents to initial this and you to initial that. After school hours, Monday through Thursday, 2.15 to 3.15, there will always be a biology teacher here to um, help.
Um, it will not always be me. Um, I'm going to be responsible for Fridays if people want to stay after, or if somebody's not here on a Wednesday and it's their day, I'll be responsible for covering that day. But um, the other four biology teachers will cover Monday through Thursday. Students are required to make an appointment uh, if you're planning on staying. And remember, there are afternoon after-school buses Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you come in on a Monday and Wednesday, you're responsible for finding your own way home. Safety and conduct. Students are required to follow all guidelines posted, printed, and spoken to ensure safety in the lab and to create good learning environment. All students and parents will be required to sign a lab safety contract, which I'm going to go over next. Students are expected to follow all Forest Park High School and Prince William County rules and guidelines at all times. Violations of the rules will have con consequences, just like always. Parents will be contacted for sure. Uh, detention may be assigned, uh, referral may be given, um, and that's all at a minimum. Uh, have your parents sign this one, or put their name right there, sign it right here. Uh, if they can put an email in here as well, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, if you can put an email address on there as well, um, that would be really good. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.